Dr. Justice over here, first of all, Happy New Year. I want to start by thanking all of the coaches, the athletes, and business people from around the world that allowed us this past year to cross the 15,000 brain scan mark. We have done over 15,000 brain scans on people executing a very high performance task. We have learned so much from all of these brain scans. I want to share the top 10 findings from all of this. The first thing that I want to share with you, and this is post number one of the 10 that I'll share with you this year, is we have asked people, when you are performing at your best, in any endeavor, maybe golf, or you're the best run of golf you've ever played, or other sports or a task at hand, describe what you were thinking, feeling, or doing. What are the attributes of when you are at your best? Irrespective of the task at hand, the sport, the, the answers to that questions are always eerily the same. I was calm. I was focused. I didn't have a lot of thoughts. Things seemed very slow. So the two big takeaways from this. Number one, it is stunning that when people, no matter what the task at hand is, are describing their best, it's always the same and it's not a secret. So the first key takeaway is do not make the best version of yourself a secret. When you are the best version at yourself at anything, including golf, you are calm, you are focused, you don't have a lot of thoughts, and things seem very slow. The second thing is that when people are playing their best or have had their best round of golf, they've never said to me, oh, my backswing was perfect, I was on plane, my ball striking was good, I putted really well. So these are all cognitive attributes. They're not physical attributes. I'm sure those things occurred, but that's not what you or other people say. So the two big takeaways are, number one, it is not a secret when you are the best version of yourself. Don't make it a secret. And number two, it's always cognitive. So the next question to ask is, well, if it's always in my brain, then why can I not just get there on my own? And so the answer to that is that the brain, the brain is basically sabotaging ourself. We live now in the world where, and I've talked about this many times, where the average noise in our head of a normal person on a normal day, so the EEG, uh, is the equivalent of a schizophrenic patient from the 1950s. And that's because our brains are just consuming so much stimuli because of technology and the instant access to so much noise that we have. There's too much noise in our brain where our own brain is basically sabotaging us. Every three seconds, roughly, your mind is going to wander. It's going to think about something else that's in your head versus the task at hand that you're about to go do. So this makes our own brain the number one competition, is if I can stop that distraction, my own brain from distracting me. It's very similar from a rational perspective that if in your backswing someone yelled, blah, 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 you are going to mishit that shot because your brain had to consume that distracting noise. Well, what's happening now, and this is the primary source of inconsistency, is that our own brain is basically talking to us in our pre-shot routine, over the ball, even during our golf swing or putting stroke or whatever the task at hand is. So in the next few posts, I will talk about ways to address that. But make no mistake, the starting point is it is not a secret. Your best version is when you're calm, when you're focused when things seem very slow and you don't have a lot of thoughts in your head. The farther away you are from that, the less high performance you will be. We need some type of an alarm system or a system that tells us, oh, my mind is wandering, I'm being distracted. Oh, I need to get back on track. When we're driving a car, many new cars uh, these days have a lane assist. When you get off unknowingly to the next lane, it says boop, 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 and you get back on lane. We need a system in the brain that tells us, oh, my mind is beginning to wander. I'm beginning to lose focus. I'm beginning to not be calm. Things are beginning to get faster, and I'm beginning to get more thoughts in my head. With that alarm system, I can then make the adjustment and allow my brain to perform at a very high level. I look forward to talking to you in the next few threads.